Hello, and thank you for taking the time to find out how you can access over $4 million in scholarship money at Harper College. The scholarships I'm going to talk about today can be applied to your Harper student account to pay for your tuition and fees, or it can refund to help pay for your books and other school supplies. I'm also going to talk about how some of these scholarships can be used for tuition and fees at a transfer school for your bachelor's degree. I'll start by introducing myself. Hello, I'm Lauren Chilvers and I work in the Harper College Educational Foundation, which means I get to work with some really nice people. People that make a choice to give their money and time to the Harper College Educational Foundation to help Harper students like you. I work on the donor-sponsored scholarships. These are scholarships that donors start by giving money to the Harper College Educational Foundation to award to students. Later, we'll get into the scope of the donor-sponsored scholarships at Harper. I wanted to start out by showing you a few pictures of scholarship recipients with Because You Gave signs to see how the donor-sponsored scholarships have made a significant difference while they pursue their degree at Harper. One student writes that he was able to work less because of the scholarship support he received. This student was able to eliminate student debt because of her scholarship. Another student could purchase school supplies and not feel like she's struggling after she received her scholarship. Finally, this student explains that her scholarship helped her balance multiple important priorities of work, motherhood, and school. So there are over 200 different scholarships that have been created over the last 40 years with the Harper College Educational Foundation. All of these scholarships have different criteria. In 2020-2021, over 1,000 students received a donor-sponsored scholarship. The foundation gave out over $2.6 million between scholarships, awards, and grants. Now let's transition into the scope of the scholarships so you get an understanding of what opportunities there are out there for you. There are three different types of scholarships. The first one is merit, which is what people typically think about scholarships. This is actually a small amount of the donor-sponsored scholarships. The next category is need. This is the largest chunk of our scholarships. Over 50 of our funds are for students with financial need. Many of them are a full ride for the students' tuition and fees. So if you have financial need, there are a lot of opportunities for you to receive help with your tuition fees and books. The final category is Program of Study. This is another area of opportunity because the Program of Study scholarships have certain criteria. So if you are set on a major and have previous credit in your major, you have a good chance of receiving a Program of Study scholarship. Now that we've gone over the different types of scholarships, let's talk about how to apply. There is an online system for the scholarships. If you go to the Harper website, search Donor Sponsored Scholarships. Then click on Apply Now. You'll want to go to Sign Up and Create an Account. Please use your Harper School email. Once you create an account, you are able to go in and fill out the general application. The general application will match you to many of the scholarships we spoke about. Now that we've gone over how to apply for the scholarships, let's talk about submitting an application. I do have some advice for filling out the general application. In the essay section, tell your story and tell it in three paragraphs. For example, one student wrote about how she knew she wanted to become a nurse because her and her siblings and neighbors would play hospital. The kids would come to her with wounds and she would use toilet paper to wrap up the kids' wounds. That is how she knew she wanted to be a nurse. Using personal details that set you apart is helpful. In the financial need part, use details. For example, are you taking out a loan, using a credit card, are you working more hours to pay for tuition? Are you helping your family with bills? Tell us how you will use the money. Some of the scholarships require faculty recommendations. The system will ask you to enter an email address into the system. If you have time, ask the faculty for the recommendation before you put their email into the system. When writing your essay, keep in mind that these scholarships are started by donors. So we are looking for students that can explain how much the scholarship will help them financially or assist them in helping with their educational goals. This is a picture of one of our donors. 
He and his wife started their scholarship for students in accounting and information technology. He wants to help students in these careers because they tend to have a lot of job options and pay a living wage. So if you are an accounting or IT student, make sure you explain why you chose that major, your goals, and how the scholarship will help you. A lot of people miss out on the scholarships because we give preference to returning students that apply before April 4th. Block 30 minutes to an hour to work on your application. Spring break is a great time to work on it. Also, apply for as many scholarships as you qualify. Once you get your story and essay, it is easy to apply for scholarships. Another great tip is to look under the Opportunities tab, Other and External Scholarships. Places contact Harper all the time asking for students to apply for their scholarships. This is a great place to find those opportunities. I have known a few students that pieced together a full ride by applying for all the scholarships that they found. If you are awarded a scholarship, there are a few ways we ask the students to help thank the donors. We invite you to a scholarship orientation and a scholarship brunch with the donors as well. If you have any other questions about applying for the donor-sponsored scholarships, visit the One Stop Center on Harper's campus. It is in room A250, or email them at onestop at harpercollege.edu, or give them a call at 847-925-6710.